guys welcome back to the channel today we have the blue eddy ac50b so this is a 700 watt portable power station i'm going to unbox it for you right now so let's get it out of the box and see exactly what it looks like this is what it comes with when you order it this is the box it comes in so let's open this box and give you a better look at it All your attachments let's just get it out of the box all right guys so there it is ac 50 b 700 watt 448 watt hour so this is perfect if you're looking for something for to carry around for camping this is actually perfect right on the top you have your pv input xt60 you can get up to 200 watts of power in this the so 200 watt solar panels works perfectly 12 volt output, 10 amps. You got your DC and AC button right here. Your power button over here. Press that, hold it. Boom, it comes on. I already full charged this one to 100 because we're going to do a small load test on it. See if we can actually get the 700 watts out of this thing. USB C, another USB C, and a USB A. 15 watt, 65 watt, and 65 watt over here. You have two grounded outlets for your AC outputs. Like I told you, on PV, you can get 200 watts. But this allows you to charge on PV and AC at the same time. So this is your AC input. This is where you'll charge it when you plug it into your house or your generator, however you want to charge it off AC. This one, on turbo, you can get 580 watts coming in. This will charge you from 0 to 80% in 45 minutes. A full charge, 70 minutes one hour 20 minutes so you can actually full charge this thing input power over here output power over here full nice display you can see 100 percent in the middle and that little power bar that goes around the blue light a power meter and down there will tell you how long you can run any appliance you have plugged into it real nice unit real quiet it only weighs 16.5 pounds so like i said 448 Lithium ion phosphate battery. You do have power lifting mode on this unit. So what that means is you could get a thousand watts on power lifting mode. I only recommend power lifting mode for like heaters, lights, any um, resistive load. If you're using any sensitive equipment, keep it in the standard mode. You get your 700 watts. In turbo mode, 580 off AC. In standard, you can charge it 270 watts. And on silent mode, 108 watts. So it's real quiet. It doesn't use the fans a lot. Keeps it real quiet. All right, guys. So let's do a quick load test so we can see if we can get um, thing. Another thing you observe, it's turning itself off. It's an eco mode. In eco mode, it will shut itself off if it sees less than 5 to 10 watts on DC or AC. So it is app capable. And I really like that using the app to control this because you don't have to actually go outside you can just use your app and control it from your phone in your box i have my ac charging cable this is your 12 volt so in your car your cigarette lighter 12 volt output you could charge this right here that's when you get your 108 watt and over here we have our solar charging cable so it goes from MC4s to your XT60 off solar panels, 200 watts. Okay, so I have my Variac connected. This is this device over here. It allows me to put a load on the power station. So let's go ahead and put some load on this. I want you guys to look right here. This will be the power output. So we can come a little closer. All right. I hope you guys can see that so just keep an eye on this right here and we'll see exactly what we're pulling let me start adding some load what we're going to do is go all the way up to 700 watt all right so keep your eye on this number right here i'm going to use the variac add some load we're going to try to go up to 700 watts and see just how far this thing can go to support that 700 watt rating right here okay so we'll turn our ac on turn on the variac and let's get it up 200, 300, 
That's right about 50%, a little, little more. So you can see right here, we're about 370. It said it could support that load right here for an hour. Let's keep going. This is 600. Display went off. Let's get it to 700 rated watt and see how long we can hold that. So we at 701, 700 watts right here. And you can see it said it could do that for 0.6 of an hour, almost a little over half an hour. It's holding, it's, it's not loud. You can hear the fans come on, but 700 watts, beautiful. Let's go up and see where it shuts off. 730, 758, 791. Eight thirty-seven, eight eighty-eight, nine hundred, nine hundred and five watts, and it shut off. That is, that is actually pretty good. I still don't think this is large enough to do a full-size refrigerator, but we can try. I have a full-size refrigerator, and let's see. We're gonna try some other fridge, which I think is actually perfect for this. So let's get the. Full load test I off. I told you guys, I think this is perfect for tailgating or camping. Now, this is a small DC AC refrigerator. I'm going to plug this into the AC50B, turn our AC on. And something like this, like a small refrigerator, like this size. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, give it a second, and we'll see what this pulls and how long it can handle that. This is where I think this thing shines. You have a small refrigerator, a small TV, and some fans. This is where this is perfect for camping. It's perfect for that. All right, there you go. It just started the refrigerator and with this small refrigerator going i'm pulling right around 86 watts on ac you can run it on dc that'll probably be lit but i wanted you to see it on ac i actually don't know where i have my dc connection for this but i do have my ac plugs 77 watts and with this rate we can do this for 4.8 hours at 94 percent so this is where this thing shines five hours once the compressor starts running it will go down and remember it's going to shut off once it gets the temp and keeps running here we are almost six hours so this is where this shines i'm going to take this outside and see if we can start a full-size refrigerator i don't think it will start it but i'm going to try for you guys so let's take this outside and see if we can start a full size 6.2 hours with your small refrigerator. Once you get to temp, it's even going to go even more. So there you have it. Turn the AC off. So a small refrigerator, you can get around 6 hours. Now let's take this guy outside. Alright guys, so I have this unit hooked up to a full-size refrigerator. You can see it right here. Let's turn the AC on. AC on. Oh, overloaded. So there you go. I, I knew it wouldn't do it, but I wanted to show you guys. For AC, you need at least, at least maybe 1500 watts and more. All right. So you tried to start it and boom. Our, Right away, I know you guys are going to say put it in power lifting mode for a refrigerator. Absolutely not. You have to keep it in your rate. So for a full size refrigerator, this will not work. All right, guys, there you have it. The AC50B, perfect 
for camping, perfect for tailgating. So if you're looking for a small portable power station, that is absolutely easy. Light, 16.5 pounds, move around, no problem. Check this one out by Blue Eddy. Guys, thanks for watching this quick video on the AC50B, and have a great day. Bye.